What up y'all? Today is Monday the 6th and we're going to do something a little different with the workout today. We're going to go to my home gym in the apartment complex instead of going all the way down to the regular gym. Um, I got a lot of things to do today so I just want to knock it out right here. But because of that we're going to have to manipulate some of the movements a little bit. It's not a very big gym. They don't have a lot of equipment so as I'm going through it I'm going to kind of explain to you what moves I'm doing and how I'm manipulating it to fit this gym. Um, but I'm about to have my pre-workout, same as usual. Got some creatine here, and then my Ghost Legends, the Warhead flavor. The last video I did where I showed you guys what I took for my pre-workout, I forgot to mention that I take these hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I don't know if you could see them. I get them at like Walmart or something. Walmart, CVS, wherever. But I take these when I take my pre-workout. I don't know why I do it that way, but I just do because it usually helps me remember to take them. But I take two of these every time I take my pre-workout. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna walk down to the gym and get a workout in. If you guys, I don't know if you can hear, no, I don't like this song anyway. But um, usually when I do my pre-workout, I just turn on some music. I don't have to get hype before the gym. I'm usually pretty hyped to go to the gym anyway. So I just throw on some old school music and take my pre-workout. So yeah, meet me at the gym. a little tour of the gym here at the apartment complex so you can see what I'm working with. I'm going to do this voiceover so I can explain as I'm going through the workout what I'm doing and how it would be different if I was in my regular gym. So here I started off with pull-ups, three sets of five, like I usually do. The thing about me and pull-ups is we're not really cool. You know what I'm saying? Like pull-ups are not my friend. So that's why I do them a lot. Um, I usually do three sets of five because more than five is when I hit failure and I'll use the assisted pull-up machine. But here's a different angle for the pull-ups again. As you can see, what I really focus on in the pull-ups is going all the way down and releasing my shoulders and getting that full extension at the bottom and then coming all the way up and trying to hold it for like one to two seconds. Here's another angle of the pull-ups so you could see. Don't be looking at my booty. So this exercise was a manipulation of what should have been barbell rows. And as you can see here, I just used a cable with the, the wide handle instead of a barbell because they don't have barbells in this gym at my apartment complex. Now, I should have been bent over more on this, but uh, yeah, I was kind of focused on filling this cable out because I've never used these cables before. I didn't know how heavy or how light it was gonna be. And as you can see here, I did four sets of 10. I'm not gonna show you all four sets, but each set I increased the weight because it was extremely light. These cables were not the same weight as the cables in my normal gym, so I kind of had to figure it out as I went on. So here I did cable rows for three sets of 12. Now usually you would do this on the cables and you would have a machine that has a bench that you would sit on. But because this gym didn't have that, I just went ahead and sit on the floor and I made it work. I'm gonna show you from two different angles. As you can see here, I wasn't stretching all the way and releasing my shoulders and getting that full extension, but that's what I should have been doing. In the next angle, you can see it a little bit better, but the focus here was really squeezing and getting the full contraction.
from this angle you could see a little bit better how I went forward and actually released my shoulders. Now with this exercise you don't want to lean back too much and have too heavy of a weight on there to where you're actually using your arms and momentum to pull it. You actually want to squeeze those shoulder blades together and feel that full contraction. Squeeze it for one to two seconds. So the next exercise was lat pull downs to the front, four sets of 10. And although they had a machine here where I could have sat on the actual machine and done the lat pull downs, it just didn't feel right to me. So I was already comfortable with this cable and I just went ahead and changed the handle out and did it here. But as you can see, I, I played with the weight each set and went up because every time it just felt too light. Again, my focus was on getting that full extension of my shoulder blades and bringing it down for the full contraction. I don't swing when I do this movement. I don't use too heavy of a weight where I'm using the momentum to bring it down. If I can't pull it with a smooth motion, then I shouldn't be pulling it. And that was it for what I was scheduled to do, but I went ahead and did this machine as well, a mid row on this machine, because I just didn't feel like I had done enough. So here I did like four sets of 10 I believe and I use this grip when I'm using the mid row machine because it engages more of your rear delts and that's what I like I need to work my rear delts more they kind of suck so that's why I use this grip Okay, the workout is done. I got a pretty good pump. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's hard when you have different equipment than what you're used to, but you know, make it work. That's what I did. So I'm about to go get some food. I'm probably gonna go back to the gym later tonight and get another workout in because I did have drill this weekend, so I didn't get to work out like I was supposed to. So I'm probably gonna go back and do shoulders tonight shoulders is my favorite so yeah and do cardio because i haven't done cardio today so i'll do that later on tonight but anyway i hope you like the voiceover leave any comments or suggestions below um make sure you like comment subscribe share the video if you want i would appreciate it i appreciate all you guys support and i'll see you next week